When I went with new backpackers, the most common things that I heard them tell me before we even got out on the trail was things like, what do I need to bring, obviously? Um, where do I get water? How do I stay warm? How do I sleep comfortable at night? I have a video for that, by the way. What about bugs? And my all-time favorite is, where do I poop? Hopefully not next to me. How to be comfortable while backpacking. Spoiler alert, you're never gonna be comfortable. <laughs> I'm just messing around. It is difficult, yes, to be comfortable when you're backpacking. If you've ever been backpacking, uh, the first few times you've done it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And even if you've been backpacking for like uh, your whole life, there are definitely times when you go and you're like, this was a total wreck. I mean, everything went wrong. I, I tripped, I fell, I got hurt, I got bit by something. So if you haven't noticed already, I'm a backpacking channel, outdoor channel, gear channel, and I'm indoors. That's because it is Good Friday, April 10th, 2020, and you, along with me, are all hopefully staying home, keeping this thing hopefully under control. So I hope you guys are staying safe and I hope you guys are staying healthy. All right, so I'm just gonna give you a few quick tips to just get you started. And like, this is not gonna be an end all be all. Obviously, there are a million other things you could possibly do, but this is just the surface level, I guess, the 30,000 foot view of what I can do to kind of help you guys out. So one thing that I see a lot of new guys do or newer backpackers do is they pack their bag incorrectly. Uh, I have a video all about this and so I'll link that right up here but basically you're gonna to want to make sure that the gear inside of your backpack is packed in such a way that the heavier stuff is towards your back the lighter stuff is further away from your back because that helps your balance and try to put maybe the heavier stuff towards the middle of the back towards your back because it's your center of balance that really helps and then all those straps on your backpack tighten them up those are the things that are causing you to sway and move around and you don't want that when you're backpacking. The other thing is, is making sure that you have the right backpack. I know a lot of people don't like REI because they think that those people don't know what to do, but I will tell you one thing that REI does really well that a lot of places don't do and you can't get from cottage vendors. You can't go to a cottage vendor and walk in there and say, hey, can I try on all your backpacks and carry them around and fill them with weight? REI is a great place to go. If you don't have an REI, find an outfitter or an outdoor store that carries backpacks that's gonna let you try different backpacks on. Most of those places will even let you fill the backpack up with weight and carry that thing around the store and walk around the store just to give you an idea of is it the right backpack for you. You also wanna make sure you bring the right gear for your trip and if you're totally confused as to what to bring, don't feel bad, everybody is confused as to what to bring the first few times they go because they're learning. I had no clue what to bring. I brought way too much stuff. I have a list that is online on a website that is just a list of the stuff that I bring when I go backpacking. I'll put that in the link below. You can use it as a reference. By no means feel like it's an end all be all, but it'll give you kind of a starting point of what you should bring. And don't worry about the brands and things that I bring because they're super expensive. And what works for me may not work for you and may not work for this guy or that person. So you're gonna have to choose that gear on your own, but at least you're gonna get an idea of stuff that you may or may not have to bring. And the sun is really picking up here, isn't it? Look at that, that's nice. There goes my exposure, waiting for the clouds. One rule that I sort of live by when I'm packing up all my gear is don't pack your fears. I mean, don't bring things just because you think you're gonna need it or you're afraid that if you don't bring it, your world is gonna end or whatever because you'll tend to overpack and it's gonna make that backpack way too heavy and you'll regret that you brought that stuff when you got out there and you're never gonna use it. And so just be careful, don't pack your fears. Another tip to help your experience be comfortable because a lot of people, their worst experience about the trip is just getting to the campsite, carrying all that heavy gear for miles and miles to find their backpacking campsite is to bring the appropriate gear for your trip. Essentially what I mean is you wanna bring stuff that's designed for backpacking in the backcountry. You don't wanna bring necessarily car camping stuff unless you can't afford the backpacking stuff just yet. But make sure that the stuff you're bringing is smaller and lighter and is really gonna be facilitating the trip that you're actually going on. Another helpful hint that um, I actually learned right away and I'm so glad I did because this saved me so much pain is I didn't use new shoes or new boots. Now, I like to use trail runners when I hike and that's just me. It works for my feet. But one mistake I see a lot of new people do is they actually go out to the store and they buy these cool, cute, awesome, you know, hefty boots or trail runners or whatever they are and they never broke them in and all of a sudden they're 
on trail and they've got blisters and their feet are hurting and they're just in total misery and they can't keep walking. So I recommend that if you are gonna use a shoe or a boot, make sure it's one that you're used to wearing. Make sure it's an old sneaker that you've got laying around or some old boots that you've been using for years that are really comfortable. The one thing I will tell you though, is if those old boots or old shoes have really poor tread on them, like if they're real slick, don't use them. Find ones that have good tread because the second you get out there and you start slipping on rocks or you're trying to tread through a, a stream or a river and there's a real wet uh, rocks underneath, you're going to regret that you don't have the right tread on your footwear. So if you live in an area like me and that area makes you backpack to specific campsites that are designated and are always there, that can really be a good thing if you can you know, get to them when they're not reserved because then you know that they're decent campsites. But if you live in an area where you're allowed to camp anywhere you want, in other words, you can just go off into the woods and just camp, or go off into the mountains and just camp, that's really cool, but you gotta make sure that you pick an appropriate campsite. Now, I did a whole video on this as well. I'll link that right up here, just walking you through how to pick out a perfect campsite. But what that's gonna do is it's gonna make sure that you're comfortable at camp, especially especially while you're sleeping. I mean, if you pick the wrong camp, like down in a valley, that cold weather is gonna come down at night and just sit right on top of you. Or if you pick a ledge where there's no shelter from anything at all and a big storm blows through. Or maybe you've got a campsite that you can't really pitch your tent correctly and you're kind of on an angle, you're gonna roll around at night. Or maybe you're a hammock camper and there's trees everywhere but they're all too close together and you're trying to hang that hammock correctly and your lay is gonna be wrong. All of those things can ruin a trip. Now if you get on your trip and things didn't go as planned even though you tried to put all this stuff into practice, just don't be discouraged. It doesn't work out for most people the first few times you do it. It's a learned experience. And I promise you, the more you do it, the more you get out there, the more you're gonna love it. And the more you're gonna learn how to be comfortable, the more you're gonna learn what works for you. All right, guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, hit the bell notification so I can send you a video every single time it's released. And I will see you guys on the next one.